guys, it's Lee, and today I have an unsponsored Timu haul for you. I have a lot of stuff, and it's stuff I bought end of November throughout December, planning on doing, you know, more unsponsored, unsponsored hauls, but things are crazy, <laughs> and that didn't happen. Doing Vlogmas really... Uh, it takes a lot of time and I never got around to doing I had a few different hauls planned out like all this stuff I got for under a dollar blah 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 anyway you're gonna get one haul today with everything in it if I can find the prices I'll put them on the screen if I can find the links I'll put them down below and they probably will be affiliate links I will let you know down in the description box if they are but yeah, here we go. Let me show you all the random things I got from Timu. The first thing I got is this olive green apron. I just thought it looked so pretty. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's an apron. And it has its straps that you then um, sorry, button on the sides. So it is so it's kind of crisscrossy at the top like this. It's just an apron. But I got this because I've been doing a lot of bread baking and sourdough baking and I'm forever getting flour all over my clothes because I'm a messy baker. So I bought this and I'm really happy with the quality. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like and the straps are adjustable. There are three buttonholes on here and yeah I thought this was really cool. So happy with that. I might buy one in a, in a different color as well. And then also in this olive green color, it's just a coincidence really, I got this notebook and I might, it's a faux leather finish and I might actually give this to my daughter for keeping notes. It's also could be like a daily planner. You, you can put what day it is and um, the weather, the date. If she doesn't want it, I'll definitely find a use for it. There's a place for a pen. There's no pen, but there's a place. It did come a little creased but that will probably happen anyway in her backpack, so that's okay. Then I got these little, what do you call the things you put on the Crocs? I can't remember what they're called. Flibbits? Flibbits? I have no idea. I know they're not called flibbits. But these are dog ones, and I was going to put these on my Timu bog bags. Oh. That's a boxer, and her best friend has a boxer. There's a, lot, there's a husky. There's lots of different kinds of dogs. A schnauzer, I guess. I don't know. I don't know all the dog breeds. I'm looking quickly to see if there's a chihuahua. How many are in here? It's a secret. It doesn't say. There's a paw print. A basset hound. I had a basset hound, or we had a basset hound growing up. It was my brother's. Oh, no chihuahuas. Ah, chihuahua. There's a chihuahua, so I'm definitely going to keep that one. No greyhound, of course, but lots of different... I can't hold them all. Lots of different dogs and paw prints and bones and stuff. So next up, I ended up getting three packs of these pens. I got three of them here. That's not true. I got five. But the two packs of them were all in black and these are colorful. I wanted the colorful ones. I gave the ones that are all in black to my daughter and her best friend and these are snarky pens. So this one says stop talking. You can get the ones that are like motivational. I prefer snark. This one says dream crusher. This one says blah blah blah. We have I Hate Everyone Too. <laughs> Leave Me Alone in my favorite color pink. How about no? Not my problem. Shh, no one cares. Your face is weird. And I don't care. Now these are snarky. They're fun. And what else is really nice, let me pick them all up here, is they are also a stylus. So I'm going to keep a couple of these in my purse. I bought three packs because I fully expect these to disappear. Uh, you know, 
<laughs> people in my house to like them and then I will lose them. So I have two more packs of them. They will also make a nice little gift. This one will go nicely whoops, in here. So I really like these. I think they're cute. They're not for everybody, but they are for sarcastic people. So perfect for me. And I do want to give a shout out to where I first saw these. I saw K is for Karen haul them and I immediately had to buy them. So I gave the black ones, like I said, two packs of the black ones to my daughter and her friend. And then I got, I think they're all colorful. Yep, three packs of the colorful ones. You know, they actually would make a nice gift too. So I just like them. Next, I got this LED table mirror and it comes with the charger. And as you can see, it's a mirror. You can see my cabinets there. <laughs> and it has a kickstand as well. I'm not gonna plug this in right now. And I got this actually for my daughter. I don't wanna flip it around because one, I don't wanna be on camera. And well, that's pretty much why I don't wanna flip it around. There isn't a two. Here are a few of the items that were gonna be in my dollar or less haul. Like everything was a dollar, under a dollar. So I got this because I thought my daughter might like it. She spent a month in India and I don't know, that's just what it made me think of. It's a cute little keychain. It's adorable. It's a wooden, well, it's resin, but it looks like wood elephant. Very cute. I bought Murphy and Lucy a cat toy. Um, it's just a green fuzzy cat toy and honestly, Lucy won't play with it, but I like to pretend that's the Greyhound. You know, I bought it for both of them, but she's not gonna play with it. She thinks she's far too good for that. I also picked up this cat toy. You can hear it shaking a little maybe. Um, my Chihuahua might like this one too. I'm a little concerned with her about the, cause she'll actually chew it. So some of these might come off. So this might have to be a cat toy cause they're not gonna chew on it like she will. I got some cotton swabs. How many are in here? It says there's a hundred in there. I realize I'm doing these super quickly, but just trying to get through this haul. Uh, oh, this is a remote. I had to think about it. This is a remote storage hanger thing. So you hang it on the wall and then you clip this part, stick this part to the remote. I suppose you could use it for anything that's not too heavy and then you slide it in there and the remote. And then you know where the remote is. I bought this little cat collar for Murphy. He currently has one, but he needs a new bow. Uh, the only thing this is missing is a bell, but I can take it off his old collar or his current collar because he gets in trouble. We need a bell. We need to know where he is because <laughs> he's a little troublemaker guy. So I thought that was adorable. This is another one of the remote hangers. This is a dough scraper. This is a banana cutter. I'm sure you can cut other things with it. I just thought it was interesting. So then I got this little set of makeup thingies and a makeup brush. These are very nice. This is so soft. And I'm pinching it and not a lot of the fibers or hairs or whatever you want to call them are coming out. So that's nice. So I didn't even know anything like this existed. You put it on top of your toaster to keep dust out of the toaster. Who knew? It says that it's dishwasher safe. And I can't read what the other symbols are. My eyesight's not that good, but there they are if you can read them. So I'm gonna go stick this on my toaster, see if it fits. Perfect. I guess there's just a standard size for them. I don't know, but it, it fits. So this next item I got is for carts. You know, when you have to put the coin in, but I didn't read very well because Aldi around here is the only one who does that and you need a, qu and you need a quarter. I don't think this is big enough. Although my daughter can probably use this in Ireland because all but one of the stores we went to uses a small coin like this. One of them uses a two euro coin, but the rest of them use a one euro. So I'll see if she can use this. Next, I got this cup. It's like a mini Stanley, 
but um, I got this for my daughter to take her tea to work slash school in. And it has a straw. There's a black straw around here somewhere. I have all the stuff piled up behind me. But there is a black straw that came with this. So yeah, I'm sure she'll like it. Next, I picked up this Power Clean Laundry Ball. So I don't know, have you guys seen the laundry eggs? I used to have one, but then when my daughter first, hold on a second, moved to Ireland, I gave it to her, just so she wouldn't have to buy detergent so often. Um, but that's what it is. It has, let me see if it says what's inside. There are ceramic particles in the laundry ball. Do not force open with tools. After washing, take it out and let it dry for the next use. I'm not really sure why these work, but they do tend to work. Or at least the laundry eggs did. With the laundry eggs, though, you had to replace what's inside. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it says it removes stains. And it also says anti-twining, whatever that means. So there you go. And it's a pretty color. Win-win. Next, I picked up two pairs of these gloves. The pink ones with the black cat. And the little bird, which is funny because the bird is on the middle finger. Whatever. Um, anyway, I thought they were really cute. So I got this pair for me because it's pink. And then I bought my daughter a black pair with a gray kitty. And I'm assuming a gray bird on it. Um, yeah, these are for her. I got this little cleaning tool. And you use this to clean your windowsill. You can scrub along, get it nice and clean. Just thought it would come in handy. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to go in the under a dollar haul. I got these cat cookie cutters. One of them looks a little squished. Let's see what we can do. So there's this one, this one, <laughs> that one, I had it upside down. This is a little fat cat and squishy. <laughs> All right, it's easy enough to fix. And this cat who is sitting with his tail hanging down. I'll work on it later, but these are just really cute. I just like having all the cookie cutters. You never know when you need to make some cat cookies and I'm prepared for when I do. Next I picked up this tea infuser for my daughter. Her nickname is Squirrel. Um, so I got her the Squirrel tea infuser. She doesn't actually really like using these types of infusers, but it was too cute. So I got it for her and um, maybe she'll use it. It sits on the cup and its tail sticks down in the water. Look how cute he is. Next, I got these little measuring tapes. You get three in a pack and they have a key ring on them. Um, yeah, it's always just nice to have a measuring tape with you. I like to keep one in my purse. You never know when you need it. Next, I got this sandwich maker for your toaster. So you can make your sandwich, you know, put bread, cheese, ham, whatever you want on it. Put it in here, and then this goes down into the toaster, and you can toast your sandwich like that. thought that was super cool and an easy way to make a toasted sandwich or grilled cheese or whatever you like to call them. I picked up this bag for my daughter, but if she doesn't want it, I know someone else I can give it to. This is a cryptozoology bag and it has Nessie. Um, I'm guessing that's Bigfoot because it is messed up there. <laughs> Jersey Devil, Cthulhu, Skinwalker, Mothman, Wendingo or Wendinga, I don't know, Jackalope and Bigfoot. So wait, I don't know who that is. Who is that? Anybody know? Someone will tell me. Anyway, I just picked up this canvas bag, and if my daughter doesn't want it, like I said, I know someone else who will use it. It's just super cute. I also, but I already gave them away, I also picked up some stuff with cryptids on it for, for my sons, my daughter, my son's girlfriend, and my daughter's best friend. But I already gave those to them for Christmas, but they were just like little pins with different cryptids on them and a sign that says Mothman, Danger Mothman, that kind of stuff. So I saw this and thought it was so cute. And I've seen Instagram ads for stuff like this, but they're super expensive. So you can just put this on. I guess you could use it as an apron, 
but it's to hold your cat or in my case your chihuahua so it's like a it's like an apron but you can put your pet your small pets in here my chihuahuas will love this uh lucy the cat will hate it but murphy might like it as well because they like to be held and snuggled the chihuahuas definitely will love this evie that's her life goal is to be snuggled at all times so i just thought it was really cute so i bought it i just tried it on and it's perfect for my little eve it also has a drawstring here so you can snuggle them in get them in nice and cozy I got some more reusable waterproof bowl covers. These I ordered a while back, um, but I'm going to use these with my sourdough or actually just as bowl covers. I mean, that's what they that's what they are, but I specifically bought them for sourdough. You know, when you want it to rise, you kind of need, you need to cover it to keep it from getting a skin on it. So I picked up these, and I love blue and white, so that's why I picked these. And then in one of my sponsored hauls I put up recently, I got a silicone oval banneton basket, which I actually think I prefer, but I had already bought this one. So this is just a regular banneton basket in an oval shape. It comes with the muslin um, insert, and it also came with a dough scraper. So next up, I got these pig. I love pigs. Hold on, let me open it. These are pig ice cube molds, and they're so cute. And I got a pack of two. And you could probably do chocolates in them as well. I wouldn't bake in it necessarily. It's pretty thin, uh, but maybe you can. I don't know that much about silicone. But I just thought they were cute, and I'm going to make some pig ice cubes because I love these. Speaking of how much I love pigs, I got this roll of 500 pig stickers. How sweet are they? So cute. This one says love because I love pigs. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was adorable, so I got that. Next, I picked up two of these arc lighters. I have one charging so we can try it out. Um, so I'm gonna grab that in just a second, but I got a pink one and a blue one. They come with the cord. And it says for your candles, cigarettes, gas, barbecue, and aromatherapy. <laughs> All right, so let me grab it and grab a candle and we'll try it out. So I went through the whole thing, realized I did not have my camera running. So here it is, fully charged. You turn it on. You can see that it has all four dots, so it's fully charged. And when you push this button, you get the arc. And it's super easy to light your candles. The next item I got is for your feet and it goes under your desk and I guess you can massage your feet with it. I think that's really cool. I was actually looking for something to put my feet on under my desk and I saw this on Timu and thought I would give it a shot. I kind of wish it was a little taller maybe. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, yeah, it would probably feel really good. My feet always hurt, so maybe something like this will help. Next, I picked this up. They're calling it a scallion separator. But as you can see, it is to cut scallions or maybe garlic, or they're using it for hot dogs. Oh, here we go. You can't really see it, but they're using it to shred scallions. This is what it looks like. And I just thought it would be handy for cutting up herbs, garlic. You know, if you need to just cut something really small, I thought this would be really good. My cat thinks it's lunchtime, but it's not. So, yeah, I picked this up. Next, I got this super cute pig planter. And I'm going to put this on my desk. And I think I'm just going to put pens in it, maybe. Oh, the cats are fighting. Um, anyway... I just thought it was really adorable. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll put a plant in it on my desk. I could do that. It won't get a lot of sun in there, but probably just use it for pens. It's really cute. Maybe my pens and my scissors. Look how sweet it is. And then the last thing I got is this portable mini printer. It says BT Instant Printing. 
I don't know how it works, and I probably should have charged it. Oh, no, it's coming on. So let me read the directions quickly. Okay, so you have to download the app, and I picked this to print. Okay. Insert. I don't really know how to do this. I'm just hitting buttons until I figure it out. Let's see what happens. Look at that, it printed a picture of little Murphy. This is so cute. I mean, they're not the highest quality pictures, but it's really adorable. I love this, I'm glad I got it. All right, so that's everything I collected from Timu over the last couple of months, and I kept meaning to do hauls and never got around to it. So I hope you like this video. I will have as many links as I can down in the description box below. And it, they're probably going to be affiliate links, just so you know. So make sure you check out the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.